Greetings and welcome everyone to a very special uh, live stream. I'm your host Gaming J, and today we're going to be trying something new. Today we're going to be trying an indie game. Uh, an indie game that has been uh, released recently and there's it's generating some buzz. I don't know exactly how popular it is. I think it's still actually kind of uh, underground a little bit. But here it is, Ape Out. Um, and uh, with Ape Out here, an interesting thing about this game is, as I say, it's a new game. Normally on my channel, we play retro games, so this is kind of something new for me. And before we get going here, um, I just wanted to sort of tell you guys why we're doing this. Um, I've had a lot of people comment here and there about, uh, you know, they're, they're uh, shocked that my channel isn't growing faster and we're finding more viewers and so on. And uh, I attribute that partly to the fact that I really, you know, I I'm a retro gamer. I play old games, so there's not many people like Googling The Sims or SimCity 2000 new gameplay. So, you know, it's going to be a slower growth on my channel, mostly through word of mouth and stuff like that. But uh, I kind of was thinking about it and I was thinking, why does it have to be that way? Uh, uh, why can't I occasionally play new games? And so I decided this will be like an experiment for us today, guys. We'll kind of see how this goes, see how you guys like it. Um, I have no no intention of changing my channel to just play new games or become an indie game channel or anything. But I was kind of thinking maybe in future when new games come out that are indie games that have sort of that retro feel, maybe I'll do like a live stream of them. And that might be an interesting way to kind of bridge the gap and uh, find newer folks who might be interested in uh, joining us here at uh, Gaming Jay's awesome channel and also, uh, you know, still having that retro vibe. So without further ado, here we go into uh, Ape Out. And uh, yes, Pa Henry, uh, live stream. Well, so Pa Henry says uh, this, he's doing dishes right now. Um, while we are live streaming, so a uh, great way, great way to pass the evening. So here it is, Ape Out. Uh, as you'll notice, it has a very interesting style. We're gonna see a lot more of this as we get going, but let's just go ahead and hop in here. Um, so the game has this sort of faux projectory feel to it. I feel like it's sort of like watching an old film, um, and even like even looking at those those letters, the title there, Devolver Digital, like the letters are kind of like pulsating and stuff. It's a very cool feel. I mean, certainly no retro game had the graphical capabilities of doing this, but here it is. So you play as uh, an ape, and you get to punch people. Welcome to Ape Out, everybody. You're an ape on a mission of punching people and smashing them into walls, making them explode. You can also grab people and use them as hostages. Humans will shoot them for you. Oh, he just blew that gap in our hands. Oh, we'll push him into the wall to punish him. And this is the game we're gonna be playing. Look at the bloody body parts that are skewered here. Oh man, <coughs> sorry. Oh man, I'm getting over uh, getting over a bit of a cold. So uh, I, I thought maybe I wouldn't be uh, Oh god, there's a bunch of people there. I thought I wouldn't be coughing uh, too much tonight, but uh, if I do, I will try to lean away from the mic so it's not right in your ear. But uh, this game, it, it's really simple, has only really two options. You can grab people and push people. As you see, you can like grab people with guns and they will shoot their guns. So you can, if, if you're good enough with the aim, you can grab someone, make him shoot his buddy. You can also push him from, oh, we missed him. Push him from behind, oh god. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, kill him. You can also like smash glass. <coughs> oh jeez! Oh, and you see my ape is now bleeding because he's been shot a few times. You can take a couple of hits in this game, but after that you are done. Oh, just squish that guy up against the wall, um, and uh, and off we go, off to the races. So uh, we're an ape who's escaping, and oh man, it's so satisfying when you can <coughs> grab one guard and get him to shoot the other. These guys are big armored guys; they have more armor. Oh man. I'm gonna have to pause and take a drink of water here. Oh man, it's like my worst nightmare. I can't talk. <laughs> okay, hold on. Time out. <coughs> oh mercy. Okay. I'm gonna have to keep my throat very hydrated today while we're playing. Um, I thought I saw a dude over here hiding from us. No, I'm just like bleeding all through this like science lab. Okay, let's grab this guy. Oh, he missed his buddy. Oh, but his buddy shot him. Oh, his buddy. Okay, there we go. I don't know if you caught it, but I held on to one guy while he shot and he killed his friend. Boom, and that passes the first level. Time for a drink. Now, one thing you might have been noticing, uh, Pa Henry says, is Sims Retro? When did I get old? Dude, when did I get old? It just all it all happened so fast. Let's just kill this guard here. Oh, there's a guy right there. 
I like it when you kill guys, they literally just mush into little, oh God, explosions of jam. Oh, he shot his buddy, Jesus. Uh, this is a very fast paced game, but uh, one thing you might be noticing is that the sound effects uh, in the background, the music is actually coinciding with the action. This is actually one of the, the games where I've seen the music most integrated to the gameplay that I've like ever seen in my whole life. It's actually like fascinating. Like every time you kill a guy, it makes a cymbal sound effect, like um, the cymbals, uh, like on a drum kit. And I don't know how they did that, but all the music like totally lines up, the drum beats, everything. Oh, and these guys explode. So in this super secret government science lab, um, which I secretly believe is Aperture Science because they're totally the kind of people who'd be experimenting on a gorilla making him simultaneously super intelligent and also like extremely deadly. Oh, he shot his buddy and exploded. Um, so in this Aperture Science Science Lab, they have like regular guards, armored guards, and then, oh God, guards, oh God, who explode, who've been strapped to the back with dynamite. Here's a cool feature, by the way, when you die, it shows you the map, so you can see exactly where we went, and look how close we were to the end. I think that's actually pretty cool. I've never seen that before in a game. Um, this game, I think, is very interesting, because, like, it's not, it's not like the gameplay is that revolutionary. Oh, God. Like, this kind of gameplay you could have seen on the PS1, or definitely the PS2. You might even be been able to see this on the Super Nintendo, um, but... So the gameplay is actually like pretty basic, um, but it does things like I've never seen. Um, another cool thing is like art style aside, it's got this really um, weird, like really high high up camera. So it's like, see this wall to my right here? It's kind of blocking that there's a doorway here, so I can't really see behind it, but now I can. So it's like weird, this game does not have fog of war, but it almost feels like it has fog of war because the walls are so high, if that makes any sort of sense. Oh God. Oh no, don't kill AP. We need we need to name our guy. I, I just instinctively called him AP. He's like bleeding everywhere. This is like a, sim, a, a primate or whatever who's in serious need of medical attention. Oh, we just, oh, look at that. They exploded into viscera and bits. Imagine being pushed so hard into a wall that you literally, oh God, got shot in the brains. You literally exploded. Okay, this isn't a good sign. We're on like level two and we're, we're dying repeatedly. Uh, there isn't a health bar. How do you know you're about to die? So in this game, you can take two hits and the first hit will make you sort of leave a small trail of blood behind you. But the second hit will make you leave a big trail of blood behind you. And that's basically it. Uh, oh god, okay, so see I got hit once. Notice how it's like a small little trail of blood behind me? If I get hit again, watch that trail, it'll get much bigger, and that's how you know like you're in trouble. So I think, I think if we, if we, oh god, oh god, look at them all. Oh god, okay, I got hit again. See, notice how I'm bleeding more. Um, I think we're kind of running through this game like it's an action game, but it might actually be closer to sort of like a metal... Uh, Metal Gear Solid kind of like stealth game. So maybe I need to like take my time at these like more complicated parts and like come in more strategically. Oh, we pushed two guys into a wall at once. Jeez. Um, another interesting aspect of this game, by the way, is that all the levels are procedurally generated. Um, sort of up to a point. Like there's... Oh God. There's like a standard... Um, there's standard parts of the level. But then, like, the, the hallways and stuff are all procedurally generated, so you don't entirely know where you're going to be going every time. Um, and I, I like that. It gives it, like, some, some replay value. You know, back... If, if this game was made in the Super Nintendo era... Damn it. Man, it's actually... This game is actually really tough. Um, which is, you know, so, like, retro games. This could have been an Atari game. It's so tough. Um... But, oh, God, that guy killed both of his buddies. Okay, grabbing guys and making them shoot each other is the way is the way to go, man. Come here, you. Come here, you. And if, the, if their bullets miss, you just throw them into their uh, companions. Uh, but it adds, it adds, like, a nice amount of uh, replay value crap to, uh, to sort of make these levels procedurally generated. Man, what are we doing wrong? We were, we were crushing this level... Maybe not crushing, but we did okay at this level the first time through. Jesus. Oh, God, die. Oh, my God, die. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, he, like, shot a bullet after he died. Jeez. Um, 
So, by the way, uh, I wonder if the colors and stuff that we're seeing, if we're, this is like ape vision, you know? So it's like the ape, maybe he can't see as clearly as humans. So to him, he's like a growing god orange, uh, orange blob. And uh, humans are just these like white things. These, these. Uh, maybe that is what is happening. This sort of like predator vision, only because we're an ape, it's like less impressive. Um, oh god. Oh, his armor blew off too. Nice. Oh, oh, there we go. I like throwing one guy into the other. It's like, have you ever been killed by another man? My only weakness, men. Oh, we threw an explosion guy into another guy. Oh, oh God, everything's happening so fast. So the, the difficulty, shoot, shoot. The difficulty with the exploding guys is you can't like just push them. God. You can't push them into other guys really close up, or they explode and they, they hurt you. Um, a, a blood trail health bar, just like real life. Definitely true. Shades of Hotline Miami. Uh, blah, blah, I can't even read. Hotline Miami. Sir, you are correct. Um, this game has been um, compared to Hotline Miami. Um, that's actually another one that I honestly haven't played. It's been on like my to playlist for forever. Um, but I kind of never got around to it when it was popular, and uh, then I kind of got busy playing that Thousand and One book. So, um, but it, it's still on my list to like check out some sometime. And yeah, I, I know Hotline Miami is very similar in style, where it's like every everything's really fast paced, and you kind of get one shotted by everyone. So as an ape, I guess you get two more hits. Damn it! I just want to like get through. Shoot, I've been hit twice. <laughs> I just want to get through like the the first round of stuff and like not have suffered uh, like a hit or two. Like I want to get to this stage here and have all my health. Oh my god! Ah, oh, you jerk! Okay, I have a new strategy. Oh, we're getting so close to the end. Okay, here here's my strategy. It's called run for your life. You're an ape and they have guns. We'll see how this strategy works. So, I mean, I, it's not like I haven't been trying it, but I'm just going to try and avoid all combat. Oh, we're just throwing guy into guy into guy. I like it. Uh, the one thing that does give me hope is that because all the levels are procedurally generated, like eventually we might just get like a very easy setup to a level and then we can actually beat this level. But uh, I don't know. So interestingly... I did try this game out. Oh my god! Just run for it, AP. I think we only got hit once there, uh, which is actually kind of nice. Um, I did try this game out uh, last night to make sure that it ran for me and that there wouldn't be any problems uh, playing it here today. And uh, a very interesting thing happened. Oh god, die. Oh shoot, I just should have kept running. Oh no, we were right near the end of the freaking level. Oh god, okay. Um, see, you know, this is why we play video games, is for that old retro feeling of like, God, just let me survive. If we could just get a little farther, we would have this. Oh god, okay, we he missed us. I just want to get to like the halfway point and have like full health is all I want. Um, my strategy of like trying to engage them always seems to backfire. I just need to like run as fast, as fast and as hard as I can. Boom, boom. The exploding guys, like, honestly terrify me because I'm just afraid of, um, oh, God. Oh, God. I'm just afraid of uh, them exploding and insta-killing me because I'm not really good at aiming the direction in which I throw guys. Oh, my God. Did we pass the level? We did. <laughs> it can be done. It can be done. Oh, we need a drink of water for that so that we don't start coughing in the next level. You gotta stay hydrated, guys. It's a number. At being an ape, the number one lesson I've learned is stay hydrated. Um, oh, oh, we threw that guy through glass and he lived. Oh no, we missed him. Oh, we can throw bombs. Oh my God, what? 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 I'm just running around clawing it, guys. Okay, we've taken a hit. This is this is not the. Oh my God, look at them all. Jeez, run. I'm like I'm like a terrified, panicked ape. Now there are more mechanics in this game. Here's one. Ripping off a steel door. This is actually really cool. And then, like, they can't actually hurt you. And then you go blam and, like, crush them with the steel door. It's totally awesome. Kaboom! That guy had dynamite on him. That came. That worked to our advantage. It's Let's just smash through all the windows. 
Um, anyway, I did try this game last night to make sure that it worked and that I'd be able to play it for you guys. And uh, everything seemed fine. Although I ran into like a weird problem I've never encountered in any other video game that I've ever played that I can recall. Shoot, the exploding guy got me. Oh, we're right at the end of that level too. So here's the weird problem I ran into. Um, I played this game, I got to level four. So right now we're on level three. So I got one more level past this. And I was like, okay, that's pretty good. I don't want to go too much farther because I don't want to see all the game mechanics. I want it to be kind of, you know, new when I'm playing it, uh, when I'm streaming it. Um, and I, I couldn't figure out how to reset my progress. I couldn't figure it out. It was it was maddening. I actually stayed up till uh, like 1.30 in the morning trying to figure out, like, how do you reset your progress? I thought there was a cloud save. So I tried reinstalling the game without, uh, you know, without... Uh, the internet on to see if that would do it, but that did not do it. Let's kill this guy over here. Ah, nice try. Now we can get this. Um, I tried. I tried everything I could think of. I even um, so I originally bought this game on Steam, and when I realized I couldn't uh, reset my progress, I, I asked for a refund, and I went and bought it on GOG and tried to install it through that, and the, the save file was still detected. It was still. I've never heard of that before. I even went into my registry. I used a reg edit on Windows here, and I deleted every reference of Ape Escape or Ape Out that I could find. I always want to call this game Ape Escape, but that's a PlayStation One game. Um, but I deleted every reference I could find of Ape Out. Didn't make a difference. So I don't know where this game saves its save data, but it is like hidden and it cannot be reset. It is. I've never encountered that before. So what I ended up doing is uh, I, uh, I installed this game on a, uh, on a laptop of mine that I've got. So I'm actually playing this on my laptop, not my gaming computer. But it runs just fine, so it's all good. And uh, I got my Steam controller here. That's actually one more thing that's kind of new about today. Oh, look, there's an alarm. Uh-oh, monkey set off alarm. Monkey run, monkey run, smash them with the door. I love that. Oh my god, look, now we are in Predator Vision. Um, but one other unique thing we're doing today that we don't normally do is I'm playing this game with the Steam controller. And if you watch my other videos, you know that I am, like, obsessed with trying all the game controllers that exist out there. And I've had a Steam controller for years. I rarely use the thing. Um, but I thought this would be a perfect, perfect game to use the Steam controller for. Because uh, it, well, originally I bought it on Steam uh, before I got a refund for that and I bought it on GOG. Uh, but I'm still using the Steam Controller, so there you go. For those of you who don't know the Steam Controller, it's kind of like an Xbox controller. Um, or I guess almost, except that instead of uh, a left and right analog stick, you have these two big like thumb pad areas. Um, and they're kind of like touch sensitive areas. And when you're not in a game, the right one lets you like move the mouse. And if you use the right and left trigger, you can like click the mouse and... Um, it, it's cr quite an interesting controller. It literally lets you control your computer like a mouse, and it functions like a game controller as well. Um, it does have an analog stick, which is what I'm using to run around, not the, like, touch-sensitive areas. But it's a very unique controller. I was skeptical of it when it came out. Um, and again, I don't use it that often, but the few times I have used it, I've thought, this is not bad. This is actually not too bad. Okay, I have a new strategy. It's called... Uh, kind of try to avoid them. Damn it. Um, kind of. Oh, the explosion got me. I gotta figure out how to avoid those exploding guys. That That's like my one weakness. Oh, he's like, hey, what happened to my buddy? Oh my god, a gorilla! <laughs> An aperture science gorilla. Okay. So, look. There's all these, like, little hidden rooms and stuff. We need to start using those to our advantage. Um, so there are more game mechanics. Damn it. Uh, than the ones we've seen so far. Um, I think eventually there are, like, doors you can, like, smash open. Um, not the ones you rip off the wall and throw at guys, but, like, doors you can kind of kick open, and they will just, like, uh, crush anyone who's nearby. Eventually you encounter dudes with, like, machine guns, I believe. Oh, man. As soon as we get away from the guys with explosions, that's all I want. Oh, my God. Um, oh, God! Monkey throw! <laughs> that's my secret move, the monkey throw. Okay, here we go. Okay, getting into this secure area. This game is a total power fantasy, by the way. They could have called this game Hulk. Like, this game could have been Hulk, basically. Because it is sort of like, you're like running around this lab, smashing government scientists. 
with your like raw strength. It's uh, it's very hulkish. Oh God! If you miss pushing a guy, there's you have like that one half a second to try and do something before they shoot you in the face. All right, we're dead again. We're gonna be dying a lot in this game, guys, so buckle up. <coughs> Taking a water break here. Um. All right. By the way, for those of you watching, what kind of game do you think Ape Escape is classified as? You know, like platformer or shoot 'em up, those that kind of classification. Take a wild guess. I'll give you guys some time to make this guess. Uh, we'll talk about it. I don't know in a few minutes. But what what do you think? What would you think this game would classify as? Give me give me your best guess. I'm I'm curious if you guys can guess what it actually is classified as. Oh damn it. If I'd been on the ball, I could have got that guy. Um, one thing I wish they had in this game was a way to recover your health. You know what I'm not doing is I'm not using enough body body shields. I Every time I encounter a guy, I like push him. I need to start using them because they're that's like a free hit. When there's a bunch of guys, yeah, I need to I need to get better, like more instinctive at this. Like I can just walk through the level like this. Look at this. Look how awkward, how awkward would this be? Like if a gorilla is holding you and making you walk, you'd be like, oh my God, John, the gorilla got me. He's literally walking down the hall. Run for your life. He's holding me, not letting me go. This is horrible. We're going to avoid the bomb, guys. Um, oh God. Oh, <laughs> he blew up. He blew up. Um, is there a way? So the bomb guys will probably explode if their friends shoot them. So they make terrible human shields. There's, so I think we just really got to avoid the bomb guys. Oh my god. Oh, he still shot me. Oh, there we go. See, if I had thrown that guy into the bomb, the bomb would have blown us both up. All right, we're just going to awkwardly walk with this guy through the whole level. He's like, hey, you better let me go, stinking ape. Kabam. Oh, they all lived. Uh-oh, things got much worse now. <laughs> They're all alive. Damn it. Okay, grab this guy, grab this guy. Oh my god, look at them all. Jeez. Okay, I don't even want to see how far we got on that one. Well, progress is slow. There are four major levels in this game. And when I first read about this game and first saw it and thought, I should play that, uh, like, very, very soon. I thought, oh, only four levels, so we'll clearly, we'll clearly beat this game if I sit down to live stream it. God, oh, we're almost dead. We're dead. I thought well, clearly we'd beat it if we just sit down to play it, uh, but we're like half an hour in, and we're I think we're like halfway through the first level. Um, there's obviously multiple parts to each level here, so let's try and be like way more strategic about this. Oh God, he sees us already. Like, I want to, like, lure these guys in. Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Ha, huh, gotcha. Go into the wall. Get squished. Get this guy, too. I'm going to leave no survivors. Kaboom. Okay, so we got those guys. What else? We got to go through this very methodically. Oh, my God. Okay, there's a dude. Gonna go ahead and grab him. Okay, we got a guy. Let's see where other guys are. Very careful. Tell me where your compadres are. You tell me. Oh, he killed him. Okay, well, ah, oh, damn it. Can't even, can't even not get hit by bad guys for being, like, very careful. Did that guy still hit me? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm just terrible at aiming the person. Okay, we got this. We got this. This is one of those games that, like, every time you die, you're like, I just want one more life. I want, I want like, one more shot. Okay, so, so far the only strategy that's worked for us is just like literally running. So we're gonna try that. Oh, that, damn it, did not work. Jeez. Yeah, a way to get more health in a level would be nice. Also a way, just kill that guy. Oh look, we're holding his limb. We're juggling his arm. Interesting. Oh, we can like push the arm. Okay, we'll do. Get out of here, bomb guy. Nice try. Um, I forget what I was talking about. All right, here's the alarm part. We haven't been here in a while. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Wait for everyone. 
damn it, to come over here. And we're gonna squish him. Oh god, they just keep coming. This is a lot of guys. I think we're totally dead. <laughs> Let's just crush them. And, uh, oh god, look at them all. We're dead. Okay, we gotta run past that part. Oh god. Okay. And then once we get through that, there's kind of like one more false alarm part. Well, if it makes you guys feel any better, this is the farthest I ever got in the game when I did try it last night. So we have we have caught up to my previous progress. My progress. So when the alarm sounds, basically it's sort of like, you better move. Oh, God. They're chasing me. Throw. Oh, God, this is a big open area. This is not good. This is not good. Just die. Oh, God. Two hits already. Two hits already. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Okay, we're killing guys. <coughs> oh, God. He's still not dead. Oh, God. There's a guy behind us, too. Oh, they, like, killed his buddy. I'll take it. Whatever, whatever has to happen. I'm just going to throw that door because I got to run. I got to run like a madman, like a mad ape. Oh, God. Kill you, kill you, kill you. Just run. Run for your life, apey. We're going to hide here for a second till the fuzz. Till uh, everything dies down. Oh, it's just throwing, guys. Run. Keep running. Oh, can we get through this level? We've never been this far. Don't stop. Don't stop for anything. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, he's, he's shooting at us. Oh, did we make it? Oh, thank God. <coughs> oh, man. We did it. We hit a loading screen. Um, end of side A. Oh, man, that's like a throwback to, uh, I guess, film, but it reminds me of, like, ZX Spectrum games. Did you guys see the cigarette burn in the top right corner? That's totally like a film thing. Side B. Uh, Daniel says he likes when games start to get challenging quickly, not to spend too long plotting through favorless intro levels. You know what? I agree. I agree. Um, it's good when, when, uh, there actually is a challenge to games. Um, like some, of the, some, sometimes the intro levels are just like too easy and too plentiful. Oh, that guy shot his buddy. I don't know what's happening. I'm just, I'm running and dodging. Oh man, they're like blowing up the fortress now. They, they just don't want anyone to escape. Aperture Science is like, we're done messing around, ape. Now we're just going to kill everyone. Um, what's the leader of Aperture Science? Cave Johnson. Th this has got to be an experiment done on his watch. Back in the days of Cave Johnson. Um, oh, what is this? Grab this thing and smash! De-electrify it. Oh! We've, li we've pulled a generator out of the wall. We've got a Jenny. We'll take it. Let's go continue here. Can we electrocute guys with this? That'd be so awesome. Can't can't find a guy. Okay, whatever. Let's just throw this thing. Smash! Oh, kind of exploded. Oh, there's a dude there! Uh-oh. This is like night vision now. Whoa, new mechanic. Man, they're just they're just throwing mechanics at us. Okay. There's a guy over here somewhere, I think. I, I don't I I don't even know. This is crazy. Apes don't have night vision, as it turns out. Maybe this is a little easier for us to ow, not get hit. Turned out we just got hit as we thought. Maybe maybe this will be easier. Turned out it was not. Hopefully it's harder for them to see too. Like that that would be the fair thing. Oh my god, I like ran past him. Pushed past him. Hey, but we, we made it. The long shadows. Alright, now what's happening here? I would like to know what this ape's endgame is, by the way. Like, what is he escaping for? What what better life is he returning to? Does he does he remember the jungle, like longingly? Does he miss the simpler times, when uh, you know? Oh, alarms are going off. Does he miss the simpler times, when uh, oh god, when he would just hang out in the jungle and eat bananas? Nobody would bug him. Definitely, people would not subject him to bizarre scientific experiments. But like, who knows? Maybe they're trying to cure cancer. Maybe this is like a good a lab of good scientists. Good scientists who are guarded by men with with high caliber weapons. Oh, I just walked right into the killing floor, didn't I? Oh, we made it pretty far. We made it pretty far. You know what? I like I like this night thing. It's kind of cool. All right, let's uh, let's try and be sneaky about this. Let's be very careful, very careful. 
The most dangerous part of this game is when you find yourself like in a big open area. Um, like when suddenly there's no cover, that's the most dangerous part. I don't think there's a guy in there. The, the flashlights are really handy because they let me see where guys are from like a long ways away. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's a lot of guys. Oh, and they I got hit. That's to be expected. There were so many guys there. I'd be surprised if I didn't get hit. Squish that guy. Oh God, here comes a guy. Squish that guy. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, he got me. Okay, come on, can we? Oh my God, there's a billion of them. Okay. Oh, damn, look, look how close we were. Look how close we were. <coughs> All right. We got this. We got this. We just got to be sneaky like an ape. Sneaky like an ape. There is something sort of retro and like 1920s-ish about, uh, about this game being about like a giant escaping ape. You know, I feel like, like Rampage was one of the first DOS games ever played. That game was about, like, apes and stuff like that, you know? Like, apes are kind of, like, an old-school villain. They don't really, like... Apes don't show up as, like, a villain as much anymore nowadays. You know, like, ever since Donkey Kong, like, normalized apes is, like, friendly and good. Um, you don't really see them in the bad guy roles as much. So it's, like, a nice return to form for apes to, like, once again... I mean, he is the bad guy, but he's also the protagonist. This is, like, some kind of, like, twisted Donkey Kong. Oh, my God. We keep getting really far and then there's like a super dangerous area i need to remember that once we're near the end of this level things get like very complicated and i gotta slow down um but i mean i guess this guy is a protagonist so this is sort of like some weird twisted version of donkey kong where like donkey kong literally is like murdering humans like this i guess this is what would happen if there was a human in a donkey kong game because it's always like you know, alligator people and stuff in Donkey Kong. Oh, that guy missed, thank God. I think he did. Did he? Am I bleeding? Can't even tell. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, let's grab this guy. Oh, there's a buddy there. Oh, no, we missed grabbing him. Ah, oh, two hits. I took two hits for nothing. Okay, there's a guy there. Let's see if we can get this guy. Oh my God, there's a lot of them. There's a ton of them. Ah! <laughs> you jerk. I attribute that death to taking two hits needlessly. Needlessly. Okay, come on, Donkey Kong. Oh my god. Okay, where are we going? I, you know what? I just want to see what happens when we escape this science lab. What, like, what kind of state is the world in right now? They're experimenting on monkeys. But why? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Just die. <laughs> Jeez. See, like, when you're in a long hallway and they see you from a distance, that's when, like, you totally get got. Because you need, you need to, like, run up. There is a delay. They don't shoot at you right away. But you need that time to, like, run up to them before they shoot at you, damn it. Okay, here he comes. He's coming back for more. He's coming for seconds. And I think we got him. Oh, and I'm gonna die. Because I was not careful. Oh my god. Let's grab this guy. Alright, anyone else up here? I'm gonna use you as a body shield, bud. I find the body shields only, like, sort of work. Um, oh my god. Let's throw these guys, one guy into the next. Oh my god! One guy into the next! Um, the body shields only kind of work, because you have to, like, aim them at the guy who's shooting at you, but I don't always, like, know where that guy's gonna be. Oh my god! Throw that guy. Come on, one more. No, no, no. Oh, God. Okay. Did we pass the level? Oh, my God. We are so close. We are so close. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Where's that guy? This is like the most tense game I've ever had. I'm bleeding purple everywhere. Where'd that guy go? He disappeared. Oh, no. There he is. Okay. Where did he go now, though? Uh oh. I don't like when guys, like, just disappear on me. It doesn't bode well. There he is. Okay, I think we killed him. I think we killed him. I'm, like, so nervous. Oh, man. Ding, ding, ding. Um, Nicholas said, what is happening? Not much, man. What is happening with you? We are just escaping from an evil science lab. Oh, I'm, like, walking into a wall now. Um, we, we, Kurt, we started off, I'll give you a recap. We started off 
in some kind of like scientist lab where he had killed a bunch of monkeys and we squished him real good and then we like uh, sort of fought our way out through like some security alarms and then they cut the power or something we're, we're fighting in the dark now and we are a monkey and that's what we're doing and we can take guys hostage like this we can take humans hostage and throw one human into the other that's how we operate okay <coughs> um where are we what's our end game guys it's our end game i like to imagine that he's uh he's escaping for big bigger and better things oh god are there bosses in this game what would a boss even look like in this game oh my god what's happening oh the lights are coming back on oh but the elevators are opening just keep running do not stop you will die run for your life oh my god oh i threw an exploding guy into another guy and he uh he blew he blew us all up so um uh yeah pro tip if you want to survive an ape attack, just strap some TNT onto it. I mean, I guess actually, no, that's a terrible tip. You're not going to survive. But guess what? If, if you get taken out, the ape's going down too. So there you go. Um, uh, so I asked you guys several minutes ago, several minutes. I kind of forgot I asked you this. I asked you what kind of game you thought this was. Actually, no one really, really took me up on that. That's okay. Um, when I read about this game... It was classified. Oh, God, I took a bullet to the butt. Oh, they're still shooting at me. This game is classified as a beat-em-up, which I would say I disagree with. Um, I think this game is a very cool game. It is a very interesting game. It has it has a gameplay mechanic that I've, like, never seen before. But a beat-em-up, it is not. Um... It's like you can like throw guys around and explode them and you can grab guys as hostages and stuff. But I would say like a beat em up, you have to kind of like throw punches and like have a health bar. You don't have to have a health bar, but it's, it'd be nice. But a beat em up is like beating people up. This is like a smush em up. You just smush guys. So I, I would accept that. But yeah, it's classified as a beat em up, which is kind of interesting. Um, this game also, by the way, um, was created by an NYU programming student as i think it started as a school project basically and uh, i think the sound design you know this really unique sound design where like the symbols clash every time we kill a guy the music is very linked to the action in the game uh that was done by one of the professors at the school um so it's kind of you know like nothing i ever made in school ever what could is sellable like no project that i ever did and probably for most of us nothing we ever did in school is worth anything but this guy at nyu made a game and uh he's making money off it now good for him um and this game by the way I, as i said i'm playing it on pc but it's actually also available on the switch so if you got a switch you're looking for a game i mean this totally does feel like a game that should be on the switch um, the Switch has a lot, like a lot of retro and indie style games, and this really feels like a retro-ish game. So, um, looks like an overhead beat 'em up mixed with maze elements. <coughs> That's not untrue. Um, it's just sort of it's the beat 'em up part. I would say that uh, you know, like if somebody said, "Do you want to play a beat 'em up?" and they put this in front of me, I'd be like, "What are you doing?" That that's that's my judge of something, you know. Like if somebody says, "Do you want to play a retro game?" and then the game they put in front of you is like a game that you would not consider a retro game, then it's, you don't think of it as a retro game. Oh, right at the end. So I I think if somebody gave me this and said, here's a beat-em-up, I'd be a little confused. Um, but now we're just arguing semantics. So you know what? Whatever. You want to call him a beat-em-up? Oh, God. Got shot in the butt for that. Go ahead. To me, it's a smush -em up um, And yeah, imagine being pushed with so much force that literally you explode and your limbs come off. That is, that is hardcore. Damn, that was so sloppy. So my, my my base move is to grab guys, but I really, or sorry, push guys. I really need to start grabbing them more, like this guy. Kaboom! Oh, okay. Well, we'll push all these guys. You see what happened there? I grabbed that guy, and the exploding guy got him. That was awesome. Um, well, let's uh, do this and throw ya. That worked out well. Let's grab this thing. Uh, ripping a door off its hinges. Huh. 
This game is like totally like a power fantasy. This is like some kind of weird monkey. Okay, can we throw an arm at a guy? Does nothing. Wait, let's grab this arm. Let's see if we can literally hurl a limb at a guy. See if it does anything. Huh! Oh, it stuns him! Okay, so it buys you the time you need. God. To, uh, oh God. Oh my God, they're going nuts! They'll kill us all! Die! Oh, I can't believe that didn't kill me. Um, okay, let's grab this guy. Let's throw him in there. Oh my God, oh my God! You get out of here! There's guys everywhere. Okay, let's just squish this guy. Maybe I should have grabbed him for cover. Rip this door off the hinges and get the hell out of here, man! Aping our way to freedom! God, there's a guy chasing me. I don't have time to carry this door. Where is he? Oh my god! Yeah! 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 Jeez! Just run. The only, the only downside to that giant door is you can't pick it up once you've thrown it. Oh! Did I make it out? Oh no, I've been in here before. Um, oh god, throwing, oh, damn it. Oh. <coughs> no, we were in the final hallway. In that final hallway, you need body shields like crazy. I also need to be able to take more than one hit. So being, being very low on health in that final hallway is a bad, a bad idea. Let's take our time here. Let's be a smart ape. Hoo okay, that sucks. Come here. Come here. You're going to be my body shield, my meat shield. Oh, my God. Look at them all. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Okay, I've taken two hits. So it's now going to be impossible to beat this level. Oh, God. Although, maybe I could get really good at grabbing guys in the hallway. It'll, like, all work out. Oh, that guy was exploding. All right. We got him. Good job, us. See, this is where I think, like, just being able to regenerate a little bit of health would be nice. I kind of get it, though. Like, they only give you three hits to get through each section. And, you know, the sections aren't that long, but still. Oh, these guys are killing each other. Okay, I just need to hold a steel door. That's how I get through that last part. I wonder if I could... Oh, my God. Once, you, once you're that close to two exploding guys, you know you're just done. I wonder if I could carry a steel door down that final hallway. Because if I could, I'd be okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Also, don't use the exploding guys as a body shield. It does not work out well. Does this game kind of remind you guys of, like, Super Meat Boy? The way you, like, die so fast, but it responds you so quickly? Because it kind of reminds me of that, actually. Like, now that we're now that we're actually playing it, it kind of feels like a little Super Meat Boy-ish. I wish this guy would just keep firing. Like, just keep freaking shooting, man, until I tell you to stop. Just come on, man. Be a team player. Oh, he actually did shoot his buddy. I will take it. Oh, my God. See, that? that's what we need to do. We got through this whole first part without taking a single hit. We just need to do that one more time. Oh, God, this guy chasing us. Oh, God, don't you? Oh, God. I was going to say, don't you dare shoot me. Okay. And we'll grab this guy. We'll grab this guy. Throw him into those guys. Oh, my God. Can't believe that worked. My hands are, like, so sweaty from that part. Throw that guy. Oh, my God. They threw a bomb at us. It's okay. You're coming with me, buddy. Ha! Okay, he exploded. Okay, okay. Well, we're actually doing pretty good at dodging. Ow. Okay, as I say that, I get hit. That's okay. Okay, we've only taken one hit. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, no, and I'm gonna die. <coughs> I was like, we've only taken one hit. It's not that bad. And then, kaboom. Okay, come on, we got this, we got this. We gotta see the outside world, guys. We can't we can't be a monkey who lived his, his entire life in chains. That doesn't work. Monkeys are not, apes are not supposed to live in a science lab. I'm 90% sure that's true. Ha! Ah! Oh, geez. I'm like taking hits like crazy now. Oh God. Oh my God, they're like shooting guys out of my hands. I can't even hold a hostage. 
Imagine like an ape takes you hostage and like the sergeant or whatever is like just freaking kill him. He's done He's done for Like they didn't even try and save him. They're just like an ape has him kill him He's done Oh god Kaboom Kaboom Oh god <laughs> Squish that guy Man, for a game with only two buttons, there's actually like a lot of strategy and like uh, tension in it. All right, I'll squish this guy into a wall. Okay. So, squish this guy. There's like a bomb there, I think. Oh, it's from this guy. Throw that guy into a pillar. Okay, oh, there's another guy here. I don't want anyone sneaking up behind me because I want to, I kind of want to carry this door to the last hallway. That's what I'm going to try and do. I probably can't do it, but we'll see. Is this a thing that could happen? Is this a thing that could happen? That guy's like, there's an ape holding a door. What do we do? Hmm. This looks problematic. Do they run out of bullets eventually? Or Oh, God, there's another guy coming. Run for it. Okay, we're, we're stuck. We've... Stuck, stuck ourselves in the room here. Okay, kill that guy. Okay, so you can't carry the steel door into the final hallway. We've taken a single hit. I think our chances are like 50-50. Alright, here we go. We gotta take... We gotta hold on to guys. Oh! He killed everyone! Okay. Throw him. Ow. Ow. Oh! <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh, there's like a thousand more guys there. A thousand more guys. <coughs> okay, we need a strategy here. So we gotta we gotta grab the guys in blue armor. That's a given because they they also the guys in blue armor then shoot and they do so much damage they could kill like three of the other guys. So we gotta do. Um, geez. So this 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 part of the game is like you gotta get good at the hallways. When there, when there is nowhere to run, you gotta get good. I think, damn it, we are getting better. We are getting better at grabbing guys, but it's like, we still can't get past this like first part without taking a hit. What the bleep is this game? I'm late to the party. Um, this game is a game called Ape Out. It is a Super Nintendo classic that was only released in Japan, so you might not have heard of it. I'm just kidding. It is, a, it is an indie game. It is a new game. came out this year. And today, uh, if you're joining us late, I said this at the beginning of the video. But if you're joining us late, today I'm trying something different. I always play... Damn it. Took another hit. Oh, I'm, I'm totally dead. I always play retro games. Um, and I saw that this game came out and I thought, you know what? Maybe as an experiment, we'll try playing a new game. Um, I mean, this game to me does have a very retro feel to it. So that's why I was okay selecting it. Because um, it's not what I typically do. But uh, I thought maybe we'll just try this try this as an experiment and uh, try playing a newer game. I think sometimes it's easier for people to like people who haven't seen me before to find me if I play something slightly newer, newer, slightly more topical. Probably sh show up in the searches a bit more. So this is kind of an experiment to see see what impact this game has. And also, uh, truth be told, I saw this game and I just thought I actually want to play that. So tonight's just an excuse to play this game. So we are giant ape. And uh, we're escaping a science lab. And the rest, you do the math. You figure it out. Oh, we're going to crush that guy. Oh, and we blew up a guy, too, at the end of the hallway there. Damn it. The apes, or the, the humans. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm totally dying, aren't I? Kill this guy. He got me. You know what? Okay. I One day... Once this game has been out for a while, I want to see, like, a speed run of someone who's, like, really good at this game play it. Like, I would like to see someone, like, run through this and, like, not take a single hit. Because it's, it's certainly possible. Oh, God. It's like, you must... Oh, God, look at all these guys. Jeez. You must just have to, like, learn the timings of how long you have and, like, how you should react to people, like, really quickly. Um, I guess I still don't know how, like, when a guy sees me, how long do I have before, um, he's gonna shoot me? Like, I have a sense of it, but my timing isn't perfect, so I'm getting hit sometimes. 
And I also don't know, is it best to like run past these guys or clear them? When should you be taking a human bullet body shield hostage? By the way, look at his, when he's pulling on that gate, you can kind of see clearly his like ape buttocks, which is kind of funny. All right, this guy's like, hey, what, a door? Oh God, I got crushed in a door and a freaking explosion guy got me. You're kidding me. The, I think the explosion guys, the explosion guys are the hardest guys to deal with in this game. Because like you can't you can't squish them close up. Like like right there, there's an explosion guy there. I had to get through the hallway. Kind of like what was I what should I have done there? If you guys have any ideas, please share them. But those explosion guys kind of seem like if you see one of those in like a long hallway, you can be totally screwed. God. Oh my god. It's like mano a mano with an explosion guy. Alright, buddy. Let's do this. We're gonna throw you into that guy! And we still got shot. And yes, now we have a trail of blood behind us. Oh god, look at all these guys! Kill them all! Oh my god, we're totally dead here. <laughs> oh man, is that a trail of blood tracking behind you? Is there a way to track how much how damaged your health is? Yeah, so basically the way this game works is you can take three hits. The first hit will leave a small trail of blood. The second hit, you'll start leaving a big trail of blood. And the third hit, you're dead. So this is very much like an old school, like, you know, three lives, no continues, kind of like, you know, NES style of like, you, you, you know, you want more health? Well, F you, kind of thing. Jeez. Yeah, we're getting sloppier. Okay, here's, here's my strategy. I take it back. I don't have a strategy. I was going to say my new strategy is to, like, take it easy. Kind of go at a slower pace here. But I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, you jerk. Okay, we're just going to blow that guy up. Oh, my God. Look at all these guys. Damn it. Oh, just, like, I just want some cover and to, like, not take it. We just took two hits. Just want to get past this first part, and we're gonna take another one. We're dead. Ugh. Another thing that's really challenging about this game is like if you are in a big open area and a dude sees you, you might not have enough time to run away, and you don't have enough time to run towards him, so you're kind of just screwed. Oh my god, I took a hit. Guys are exploding. We're just gonna hide here for a second. We're gonna hide here. All right, come to Papa. Maybe we should just take this game, like, really slow. Oh, God, there's a... <laughs> uh, if I take it fast or I take it slow, I take the same amount of hits. I think... <coughs> I think my strategy of just running was the best strategy. Like, ever since I've tried to slow it down, I'm doing worse. So, we're just going to start running. I think I'm, I'm not going to make it, because I already took two, head, two hits there, but... Okay, let, let's do this, guys. We're just going to go th run through this level as fast as we can. We've gotten to the end hallway like four times. Uh, we Actually, that's a bit of an exaggeration. I think like two times, maybe? Just squish that guy like a bug. Let's grab this guy and just... <laughs> God damn it. Maybe this game would be easier with a mouse. Maybe that's my like fatal flaw. Maybe I should re uh, not restart... Because we'll restart right here, but maybe I should give it a try with a mouse. Because if I had a mouse, I think I could more precisely aim these guys. Okay, Th this is this is my idea. This is my idea. Let's gonna let's try this with the mouse. So hold on a sec here, guys. I'm gonna like reset my controls. I'm just gonna turn to the chat here. Keep chatting, folks. I have to quit the game here. Um. Do you guys have any other strategies, by the way? Oh, wait, options. No, I actually have to quit the game. Okay. Um, but, yeah, do you guys have any other... Like, am I missing something? Is there something else you guys can think of that would be useful? I would love to know. Okay. And I unplug my controller here. Okay, the Steam controller was fun, but ultimately it was a controller. And we all know from first-person shooters... That uh, nothing beats, 
Nothing beats the old handy mouse. Oh god, I gotta. This is on my laptop. Hold on, I gotta get the mouse. Uh, the mouse dongle. Hold on. All right. Got that. Okay. I think I got the mouse plugged in. And we'll go ahead. Gonna relaunch the game. All right. Let's bring you guys back. Game is loading. Um, this game is quite hard. This game is very hard, actually. Um, but, uh, you know, we were saying a little earlier, um, I think Daniel mentioned uh, that uh, he uh, likes when games are challenging, and uh, I agree. A challenging game can be good. So here we go. Play. And the only downside is the mouse feels a bit choppy. Might actually have to go and get like a wired mouse. Let's just see how this works. Um, oh yeah, that that mouse feels real choppy. I don't know how this is gonna work. Um, oh, so we grab guys, we throw them. Actually, maybe it's not so choppy. So we can grab guys. I can aim guys way easier. So when I grab a guy, oh yeah, this is. This is like night and day. Okay, maybe the mistake was playing this with a Steam controller. Okay, you know what, I take it back. I don't think the mouse is actually that choppy. Oops, let's uh, get over here, grab this guy. All right, where, where do you wanna go? Oh God, oh God. Grab this guy, throw him. Grab this guy, throw him. All right, it, it's, it's, it's a little different. It feels wonky, it feels weird, but I think I can get used to it. Okay, uh, let's grab this thing. So you move with the W, A, S, and D keys, and then you just aim with the mouse and uh, throw. So, all right, we're giving it a try. <laughs> I like when they see like the steel door coming towards them, and they're just like, what the hell do we do? Uh, oh God, oh God, all right, that worked out okay. <laughs> oh my God, come here you. Oh, oh, okay, we got that guy. Jeez. Oh, you can actually like walk backwards. Now that I'm using the mouse controls, you can like be like, here, take your hostage. Okay, let's, let's just run for it. Oh God, there's guys everywhere. Uh, squish that guy. Oh man, grab this guy. Squish him. So maybe what this game needs is like with the controllers, like a bit better auto aiming. That might have actually been the, the missing ingredients. I don't know. Oh God, get out of here. Oh God, they were trying to kill me. Where's that blue armored guy? Yes, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what I wanted to do. I did not have the precision to do that before. Where's this guy? Throw you into the wall. So I don't know, does it look like I'm playing better? I feel like I'm playing a little better. I feel like things are, oh God. A little easier now. Um, oh God. Oh, he dropped a bomb and I picked it up and threw it at him. That was actually pretty sweet. Let's grab it. Let's use this guy as our first line of defense. All right, I'm like bleed, I'm like, like a slug, leaving a trail of blood behind me. Okay, oh, what? He didn't even last one shot. What kind of body armor dude can't even take like one shot? That is ridiculous. Okay. Oh, damn it. I messed up the buttons there and took a hit needlessly. Oh, I took another one. Okay, we're just gonna die. Here's the thing. <clears throat> I think I can do that final haul, but I gotta get there like with all my hits. I can't, I can't get there and only have like one hit left because it's just not gonna work. So I gotta get there without taking multiple hits. So we're gonna see if it can make it happen. Oh man, if, like if you hesitate in this game, you just die. Oh God, oh God. Okay, we're, okay, we're gonna die here because that's not gonna happen. 
Um, is it only on PC? It is on the Nintendo Switch as well, actually. Um, so you can play it on either uh, PC or Switch. Um, I I suspect that they probably would want to bring it to other uh, consoles. Um, like, I looked for this on PS4. Because I don't have a Switch, but I have a PS4. But uh, I did not see a copy, no. Um, and I, I looked it up, and they did not say that they're planning on doing a PlayStation 4 version. So they may be planning it, but um, there's kind of like no news as of as of light. Oh, God. Okay, we took one hit. You know what? I would even be willing. I'm like strafing. I'm monkey strafing. I'd even be willing to uh, go into that final hallway having taken one hit at this point. Because getting in without taking any hits is kind of like a tall order. God, look at them all. Let's grab this guy, this guy. Let's grab this guy. Come on, you're coming with me. Squish. I want to squish you over here because it pleases me so. Oh, God. Dudes. Dudes chasing me. All right. So we've taken one hit. Can we make it? Oh, God. Nope. We can't. We're dead. I was going to say, can we make it through the hall without taking a second hit? We can't even make it through that hall. Ugh, this sucks. I, I really want to get to, like, the next level. I know that this is the last stage of the first level. And, like, honestly... <sighs> might as well just die. Uh, honestly, like I said, there's only four levels to this game. They're very challenging. But I would love to... You know, I thought originally when I read that there was only four levels, I thought originally that I we, we would just beat it together. I know that that's actually not going to happen now. You know, four levels. This would take us, like, all night, and trust me, I still wouldn't beat it. Um, but I would love to just get to level two. That's, that's all I want. That's all I want for us guys. I want you to see it. I want to see it. I want this to be, like, level two of Palooza. We can do it, can't we? Can't we do that together? Oh, God, there's a guy chasing us. Run. Oh, he killed He killed the guy in, in front of us. Oh, God. Just run. Run for it. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. That worked. I, it's just like panic pushing now. Okay, we got to avoid that guy. Grab this guy. Squish him into the wall. The mouse, by the way, makes this game way more dynamic. It is a. It plays like a different game. Honestly, I think I was a little better at controlling it with the PC uh, or with the Steam controller. Um, like, it feels more natural with the, the keyboard, but, like, I can definitely see that, like, if you get good at controlling it with the, the mouse, it is, you're going to play this game way better than you will with a controller. Okay, boom, boom. Oh, God. Oh, God. Should I just be throwing guys like crazy? Every time I try and grab a guy and use him as a hostage... It backfires. I think... Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll try that hallway at least one more time. But I think next time I get there, I just gotta, like, grab guys and throw them. Like, grab, throw. Oh, what happened to my computer? Hold on. Timeout. Um, Windows is asking me if I would like to restart. Jeez. Why on earth... I'm in the middle of a game. Why would... <laughs> Why would you do that to me, computer? This is one thing I don't like about playing uh, games on PC these days is freaking Windows pop-ups. Um, it's just like the most inopportune time in the middle of a game. Don't bother me with don't bother me with such petty things. Okay, there's a lot of guys coming. I think. Oh God. Okay, we killed two. Two for the price of one. Oh, there's an, there's one. Oh oh God. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's guys everywhere. There's guys everywhere. Okay, I think I've only taken one hit, surprisingly. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm, I'm totally dying, though. I'm totally dying. Wow, that was a bad level. The other thing is, for those of you joining us late, the levels are randomly generated. Meaning that sometimes they are easier than others. Squish, squish. And let me tell you, when they are not easier than others, they can be brutal. Oh, God. Oh, no, that guy didn't die. Oh, with the freaking exploding guys. Yikes. I feel like there must be, there's an intermediate uh, control scheme here that we're missing. Because, like, 
So with the mouse, I feel like I can aim really well, but one thing that I can't really do is move as well. It's really hard to describe, but the direction that your ape is looking, that's kind of where you move fast. And you can like strafe left and right, but your guy kind of goes slower. Um, and it's really hard to fully describe, but I feel like it's hard to like get going really fast. Sh shoot, damn it. Stop it! I just want to get to the first level without taking a hit. The first part of this level. Oh my god. And see, like, I was trying to run towards that guy, but I wasn't facing him. So I was, like, side strafing. It was super slow. Okay, okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. Stop throwing bombs at me. Oh my god. I hugged him until he exploded into a wall with me. I, I'm like semi tempted to go back to the steam controller because now I feel like we weren't necessarily doing much worse But I do like being able to aim these guys I feel like I'm never good at it. Okay, so that works There we go boom boom. Uh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. There's too many of them. Oh god I can't believe that worked Go 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 oh, god. There's guys everywhere. There's guys everywhere. Ah, oh, just if they would only take like a few more seconds to shoot you <laughs> A few more seconds is all I want. I can't even get past the first part now Can't even get past the first part Okay, so our our victory for tonight again when I read there's only four levels I was like, oh, maybe we'll beat it. Our victory for tonight is passing the first level Because <coughs> we're starting to do worse frankly we're starting to do worse. Maybe I'll go back to the steam controller in a bit. I just wanna, I, I wanna, I'm gonna keep trying this. You know what, I also could like connect an Xbox controller or something. Maybe maybe that's the secret sauce. Maybe that that's that's the, se the, the controls I need in order to be able to do good at this. I think I also just need a good random maze. I need the maze to come up favorably to me. Where's this guy? Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> oh God, stay away. Don't kill AP. Oh God, they're everywhere. Jeez, they want me bad. I'm like strafing. Okay, just break this thing. We've taken one hit. <clears throat> if I get that last hallway, I'm just gonna grab and shoot, grab and shoot. That's all I'm gonna do. I think there's a guy walking slowly down the hallway behind me. Trying to kill me. Kaboom. Like, grab and throw. Grab and throw. Grab and throw. Oh my god. Oh my god. Throw. <laughs> grab and throw. Grab and throw. Grab and throw. Grab and... See, like, the throwing does stun them. So that's, that's how the last hallway is going to work. I may not kill them. Oh god. These guys chasing me. Oh my god. They're trying to kill me. Okay, here we go. Grab and throw. I'm practicing. Practicing for this haul. Okay. There's no one behind me. Okay, grab and throw. Grab and throw. Grab and throw. Grab and throw. Here we go. Grab and throw. <laughs> it's working! It's working! Oh my god! Oh, hold on. We're breaking, breaking the door down. Yeah, freedom! Oh my god, we, we survived! We're in the jungle! We made it! We, we aped our way out! We aped our way into that mess and we aped our way out. Boom! Disc one and we passed the first level, guys. Huzzah. Huzzah. All right. <laughs> Subject four clear. Deaths, 54 deaths and 53 minutes. All right. I, I feel good about that. Um, we successfully stopped the nefarious scientists from experimenting on us. All was great in the land of Apey. And now we have level two, the high rise. Let's mess around with this. We're definitely probably not going to beat it. Oh, God. We can play this on a harder game mode if we want. I'm going to stick with, uh, you know, this one. I like also how the, the levels are called albums. Um, interesting. Oh, and by the way, so uh, you can play these levels normally. Um, but there is also an arcade mode when you play things in arcade mode um, I think it times you and you have a certain amount of time to beat the game just like when you played arcade games There is also a mode 
I think the harder mode gives just lots more bad guys. So we're definitely not ready for that. Um, anyway, let's let's uh, try out the high rise. So our ape escaped to the jungle and he immediately started to climb a building. He's got a bit of King Kong DNA in him. He just wants to cause a ruckus. So as I say, there's going to be new game mechanics. There's new mechanics in every level. I like the idea. It's like our ape is in an elevator. Like, how did he get in there? He doesn't know where he's going. He just hit all the buttons. Then he ends up on a high rise. And here we go. And he goes, smash! Oh, that guy fell to his death out the window. Oh my god, we just threw a guy off the side of the building. Yes, we did. All right. You want to go too? Here you go! <laughs> oh man. That was funny. Sorry, water break. Ugh. Uh, as I said earlier today, I am fending off the remnants of a cold, so my throat's getting a little raspy. <clears throat> Hence the water breaks. All right, now we got stairs. Level 30. Oh, God, there's guys. Oh, God. Okay, so we're going to take some damage here. That's okay. Um, let's, uh, oh, God. There's a lot more guys. <laughs> I kind of want to switch back to the Steam controller, to tell you the truth. Um, I kind of am tempted to do that. Um, should we? Let's punch that guy out the window! Throw that guy! And we're gonna throw this guy too. Can we go out the window? Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> okay, timeout. We're gonna switch back over to the Steam Controller. Um, I liked. I didn't mind. Uh, I didn't mind the mouse, but it's like it just feels a little odd to control. It's really hard to describe. So I think that ultimately I do like the Steam Controller the best. Oddly enough, I mean we could try like an Xbox controller. But I kind of don't want to, like, bother breaking that out. I think the Steam Controller is close enough. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I wonder if this is going to even work. Resume. Oh, yeah, it will. Oh, handy. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, you guys are at the chat. All right, here we go. Let's, let's try this. Yo! Throw you away, too. And we will throw you away. The cool thing about the mouse is you could, like, side strafe and walk backwards and stuff. You can't really do that with the Steam Controller. But the Steam Controller has, um, has sort of... Uh, it's just easier to sort of walk around, if it makes any sense. I kind of wish there was a second analog stick. Oh, that guy's, like, running away. What is, what is with this guy? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so there's like little guys now? Hold on. Wait, could you? Oh, hold on a second. I think I was using the Steam Controller all wrong. Because actually you can aim what direction you look. Oh my god, I just learned something new. Okay, so we're gonna like fight our... Oh, that guy flew off the building. We're gonna fight our way through different floors here. Well, did I just figure out a whole new way of playing this? You can kind of like, you can actually aim. Oh, come here, come here. Oh God, man, it, this is a challenging game, guys. Um, I see a white dot, is that just to tell you what direction you're facing? Yeah, when I was using the mouse um, uh, a little while ago, the, uh, the white dot t is like your mouse cursor and that's sort of like telling you what direction you're facing. Oh my God, yikes. Well, we're definitely not gonna beat this, this level. But you know what? The first level was like uh, kind of kind of boring in the sense of like it was just like an, uh, a series of empty like government labs and stuff. Whoops. I like that this level has like so many um, so much furniture and like office stuff. These are the offices of Microsoft. Ape is fed up. <laughs> Very well could be Daniel. Very well could be. The ape represents all the consumers. Whoa. <laughs> One thing I will say about this game is it is incredibly satisfying to kill people. Oh man, throwing him out the window! And then we followed him by accident. Jeez. It is a very, very hard game. Very, very satisfying game. So it's kind of, you know. Um, surprisingly, surprisingly, I thought that uh, it would be like no problem to like figure this game out 
And again, I'd be able to beat all four levels. I beat the first level, and honestly, I'm a little surprised I even did it. I don't really know how to beat this level. Like, this seems like there's just so many guys. Like, I think you just really have to, like... Oh, that guy, like, runs away. You really have to, like, take your time and, like, figure out where everyone is. I don't think you can... You definitely can't rush through these levels. Like, in the first... In the first, uh... Government lab, you could just sort of, like, run through all the levels and, you know, you'd be fine. But this one, there's too many, like, big open areas. I think you have to be more strategic. Like, I'm taking hits stupidly because I'm impatient. I think this game, honestly, is, like, more like Metal Metal Gear Solid, where, like, you kind of have to, like, you know, be be smart about it. Oh! Oh, man! That ape just got assassinated! Assassinated. <coughs> oh, man. I would like to pass, like, just this first part, but, I mean, if we can't do it. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. All right, we got out of here without taking a hit. That's a good sign. We're learning. So, guys, uh, we're probably going to start wrapping up Ape Out here shortly. I don't know. I, I As I say, I, don't, I definitely don't think I can pass this level. Um, and I feel like I've had... A, I feel like I've had fun with this game. Um... Oh, oh, oh! Maybe you just gotta use hostages more strategically? I don't know. We'll start wrapping up soon. It might still be like half an hour if I start doing good. But, um, what do you guys think of Ape, Ape, Ape Out here? Did I call it Ape Escape? It's called Ape Out. Um, what do you guys think of Ape Out here? It's kind of an interesting game, right? Like, as I say, I just like... Oh, God, they're like killing everyone. I just noticed it recently. Uh, I saw an IGN review, actually, and that's sort of what, what tipped me off to, to check it out. Oh, God. Come here, you. You little jerk. Yeah. Where Did they just disappear? They collided and became a single person and then teleported away. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I think this game is super cool. Definitely sort of has, a, like, that retro aesthetic to it. Uh, or not aesthetic. I mean, it looks very modern and stylistic. It, it definitely has its own style, which is very unique and cool. Um, it has that sort of retro feel and appeal, I think. Like, it it feels like an old-school retro game in the sense of, like, it's very simple, very simple premise, very sort of fun mechanics. Um, ooh. And also very challenging. Very challenging. Very challenging. Boom. There are you. My body shield. Oh, that guy just walked off the edge. He was so nervous. It's awesome. Um, yeah, like if this if this actually had been out on the Super Nintendo, so so Ape, Ape Out here is another example of a game that I would like to say could have existed uh, a long time ago. Like, there's nothing here in the gameplay I think that couldn't have existed in some form on the Super Nintendo even. But I mean, this game as is almost could have appeared on the PlayStation 1. I don't know if the PlayStation 1 could have handled all the graphical uh, sort of coolness that's going on in this game, but it definitely could have handled the basics. Like, if you stripped this game down a bit, took away some of the, like, uh, more uh, busy texture work that they have going on here, um, this could have been a PlayStation 1 game, I think. I think. I don't know. I don't know if you guys agree or not, but I think this could have been, and that's kind of interesting to me. Like, like this is sort of like, like, this is why I like uh, indie games, I think. Because sometimes they're kind of like, ow, lost retro games. They're like games that could have been retro games. They just didn't happen to exist, like, uh, you know, uh, 15 years ago or whatever. Kablam! I squish you into the garbage can because you annoy me, little man. Smash! Smash that glass for fun. Um, this game totally could have been, I think, I think even back on the Super Nintendo, there was a way to make something like this happen. Again, it wouldn't have had this, like, deep perspective and been in 3D. But the gameplay, I think the gameplay could have definitely worked. Um, whoa. Nice try. Where are you? Oh, look, he's chasing the blood trail. Nice try. I snuck up behind you. Oh, there's another person. Oh, God, there's two more. Okay, let's do that. Oh, God. Oh, the little guys. Jeez. This is a game of uh, gorilla and, and mouse. Cat and mouse that little guy oh no oh god i can't believe that works oh get back here little guy i'm gonna eat you <laughs> i like how the little ones run away from you 
You're like such a such a colossal big ape. The little the little dudes know they know better. They know better in life than to tango with an ape. Um, so I guess one thing I wish this game did have is power ups. Like you know you're going through you're going through this level. You know you're oh god. Ugh. You're going through offices and stuff, but, like, there's nothing to discover. It'd be kind of cool if there was power-ups um, that you could, like, discover in different uh, rooms of the office or whatever. But, uh, I don't know. Anyway, let, let's give this, like, one more hearty shot here. Oh, God. <laughs> I like the idea, by the way, that this office just randomly had a gorilla. They're like, bring in a gorilla in a, ca in a cage for the hell of it. Like, we're, we don't know why. We just wanted to supplement our next board meeting. It, meetings always go better when there's a gorilla in the room. I don't know why. It's weird. It's a weird thing that happens. People are just more willing to share good ideas in a business meeting when there's a gorilla. So they ordered a business gorilla. Uh, little did they know, he was sick of being a business gorilla. And so he rebelled. Um, you know, this game is also like a dangerous tale of what could happen with AI. Because, like, you know, just substitute AI in for a gorilla. Like, you think having a gorilla is bad. Imagine if this gorilla were, like, artificially, you know, created. We were like a cyborg. Like, a cyborg gorilla is, like, the most terrifying thing ever. It's a gorilla that's a cyborg. Isn't that scary? I don't know. Anyway, we keep dying here. Um, like, like, legitimately, I'm kind of glad that this wasn't the last level or the last stage of the first level. Because I honestly don't think I can beat this. Like, I'm trying as hard as I can, and I don't think I can beat this. It's it's shocking, I know, but I, I think this level is beyond my pay grade. It's just, it's too hard. I think um, maybe I just have to go slower or something, and I'm, like, just running through the levels. Um, in fact, I definitely know I, I need to go slower, but my ape brain just can't comprehend. So I think this is as far as we get today, guys. Um... I hope you guys have had fun checking out Ape Out here. I kind of did this on a whim. I only posted the announcement like la like last night. Uh, so it was like 24 hours ago I decided I was going to play this. So normally when I do live streams, I give a bit more notice for people. But uh, hopefully uh, many of you were able to tune in uh, nonetheless. Um, I'm curious to see if uh, you know playing a more modern game will actually uh, help sort of newer you know other folks discover me. Because one of my ongoing goals is always to grow as a channel. But regardless of whether it does work or not, um, what, do you, what do you guys think about the idea of, um, you know, playing indie games from time to time? You know, like, do you like that idea? Do you not like that idea? Was today fun for you? Would you have preferred if I played like a TurboGrafx-16 game or something like that? Like, uh, let me know. Um, this game will get, or this video will be posted as a video on my channel, so you can leave it as a comment. Um, you could, you could even leave it as a chat message right now if, if you so want to chime in. But, um, what do you guys think of, of me playing uh, retro or indie games once in a while? Um, let me know. Uh, whatever, whatever you feel about it, by the way, um, I probably will be doing one more indie game for sure. Um, at the end of March, I'm talking to the guys at the Classic Gaming. Um, classic gaming podcast uh, about having them come and do a live stream uh, with me uh, at the end of March. Um, if you're not familiar, the classic gaming podcast, uh, it's a podcast I've been on a few times. These guys are just into retro games. Um, they're really good guys. Uh, I really have enjoyed uh, being on their channel or being on their podcast a few times I have. Um, I'd like to do it again and I'm sure at some point I will, but uh, you know, I've been on their podcast a few times. And I was just thinking the, you know, last week, I should invite these guys over and have them on my channel. Like, you know, have them come play a game. So we're probably going to play Broforce, not to spoil the surprise. But uh, if you never heard of it, it is a crazy indie game uh, that's very retro style with lots of explosions. And it's a co-op game where you accidentally kill each other very frequently. So it should be a very fun time. So... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, keep that in mind. End of March is when that will be happening. But uh, I'll obviously, uh, you know, uh, schedule that when the time comes. And we are dead once again. <clears throat> well, guys, I think this is it for me. Um, I, as I say, I've had fun today. I hope you guys have too. Um, enjoy the rest of your evenings. And, um, yeah, do chime in. Let me know. Let me know how you enjoyed today because I'm always curious. But uh, whether you loved today or you hated it, whether you loved Ape Out or you hated it, uh, I hope that today was kind of fun for you. 
And uh, I will see you guys again soon. Um, until then, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. In peace. <laughs>